Hello and welcome to Fruit Smasher Game Pro Project Part 1. In our previous sessions, we learned the basics of Unity Games development. In this session, we will create a new project. We will create a new project and we will create the folder structure for this project. We will download the important assets required for this project. We will be working with prefabs and we will adjust the size of different prefabs. These prefabs may require some components such as rigid body and collider. So we will be attaching these components to our project files as well. So let's open the Unity and create a new project here. So you can click on this new and this from here you can add the project name and the project name here is Fruit Smasher I'm going to save it in a default location so make sure that 3D template is selected because this, go this game is going to be 3D so click on this create button and wait for some time because initially when you create a project the unity is going to take some time in order to build in order to create some in order to create some environment folders and files so once the project is ready we will start implementing this fruit smasher game so the project is ready to start with and it comes with with default components like asset folder and inside the asset folder we have scenes folder and if you see the name of this scene is sam sample scene so first of all we need to rename this scene and you can see uh, in the title bar the name of this scene is also visible sample scene so let's rename this scene so right click on this scene sample scene and rename this scene to fruit smasher Game. Press enter to register this name. Once you press enter, a dialog box will pop up and it will ask you, do you want to reload this scene? So you can click on reload this scene and make sure that you are in the right scene when you are designing, when you are working with the different game components. See, you can check this on the title bar, Fruit Smasher Game. So this scene is active and we will be working in this scene. Though we will be creating different scenes in our in our game, so so make sure that you are in the right scene by by checking this in into the title bar. Now we are interested to create some folders which will be required in our game. So it is always useful to create different folders and keep things neat and tidy in terms of working with different file types. So right click here and create folders. So the first folder which I'm going to create over here is materials. materials. Next folder I'm going to create over here is prefabs. Fourth folder which we will be having in our project is going to be models and last folder name which we are going to create over here is scripts so we have created these folders here if I zoom out so that you can see all these folders over here so we have created these folders directories in our project we need to download some assets from the unity asset stores and remember i'm going to download the low poly fruit pickups asset from the unity store i have already downloaded and it is it is explained in my previous videos so check those videos out so you can go to the windows and click on package manager i've added the low poly fruit pickups asset to my unity projects so make sure here 
uh, in the package category you need to select my assets because I have added that particular asset to my asset so you can see all available assets which you have added in your workspace so from here we can use this low poly form pack light not this one the next one please the low poly fruit pickups it is already downloaded I can simply import this this asset to my project make sure that all these check marks are checked and click on import button so it is going to import all the files which include prefabs which include some scripts which include some material files so all these files will be imported to my project and then I'll be able to make use of these existing templates so once the import is is finished you can close this window package manager window and you can see in the asset folder you will see low poly fruit pickups are shown and you can see the prefabs if I go back you can see some materials and you can see some resources some scripts are available here inside and we have these models as well now first of all we need to adjust the size of the model because the size of uh, these different elements are very large so we need to adjust this size so how to adjust the size so you can you can select this model in the low poly fruits folder and here in the inspector window you will see the model and here is the scale factor right now scale is set to 100 percent now in order to reduce the scale to 30 percent we can readjust this instead of 1 we can type 0 0.3 0 0.3 is almost you can say 30 percent of the actual size if the actual size is 100 so that the third it, it is going to reduce it to 30 percent now if I scroll down don't forget to click on this apply button then the changes will be applied to this model so click on this apply so these changes are applied to this model all the models not just one and if I expand this one you can see all different models here okay we have apples avocado banana cherries and the list goes on now okay we need to add the component over here to this different prefabs now in order to add the components to these different prefabs first of all you need to go to the prefabs folder here is this prefab folder I'll be using apple prefab and I'll be using in my game the strawberry and the peach these three different prefabs I'm going to use it in my project so the first of all the apple prefab we need to add some components the two components required over here one is rigid body component and the second component is the collider component so scroll down click on this add component make sure this apple is selected add component and select the rigid body component from the list make sure it is 3d not 2d so the 3d comes without the 3d word or 3d text written in it so it is simple rigid body so this one is added now if you see, if you can see the rigid body component as added and make sure that use gravity is also checked similarly we will be adding the box collider component to this apple as well so collider and why we are adding box collider over here because if you see the size of uh, of uh, this apple if you see the shape of this apple it is kind of a box sorry uh, instead of a box we need to add a sphere collider because if you see the shape of this uh, apple it is a sphere actually it is sphere in shape so that's why we need to add a sphere collider to this apple component apple prefabs so click on this sphere collider similarly we will be repeating these steps with the peach and strawberry so select this peach component peach prefab add component and this time we will be adding 
the rigid body component by the way you can add the the collider from this uh, component window as well component physics and add a sphere collider so the sphere collider is attached to this uh, each prefab also so likewise we will be attaching these two components to the strawberry as well so add the rigid body component first and then add the sphere collider component so these components are attached and our setup is ready so we will make some changes in the interface also how it is going to look plus we will be creating some scripts make your project ready in unity and i'll see you in the next video